Hey crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So this week I am almost moved into my craft room. Not quite. It's still a little bit of a mess. So in the coming weeks, I promise I will give you guys a tour of the craft room. But what I do have set up is my sewing table. And I am so excited to be able to do a sewing project. So I thought it would be fun. School is right around the corner. Kids are getting ready, getting supplies together. So I thought it would be really fun to make a backpack. And I just had so much fun making this drawstring backpack. It's fully lined um, and you could do so many different things with it. You could add a pocket to it. Um, you could add a design, you know, with your Cricut um, on it. You could do all kinds of different things, but I found this a sunflower um, material and I just fell in love with it. So um, I hope you guys stay tuned so that we can make this fun um, drawstring fully lined backpack. But hey, before we get there, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, thank you so much. I so appreciate each and every one of you guys watching my um, tutorials. And I really hope you enjoy them too. And you know what? If you've got an idea for one, make sure you drop a comment down below. I love to hear from you guys and I love to hear your comments. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. We do it every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. So I'm gonna join you over at my cutting mat and we are going to get this all cut out and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make this cute drawstring backpack. Okay, to start this project, what we're gonna need is four fat folds. And so I just picked up a package at Walmart today and they had these cute sunflowers themes that I just absolutely loved. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with those. And I've just got them layered right on top of each other because I'm gonna cut them out all together. And then you need some cording and this is cable cord. And I picked this up at um, Walmart also. So you're gonna need some of that. Of course, I'm gonna use my rotary blade and I'm gonna use my acrylic um, ruler. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna start out with um, three different cuts, okay? And you're gonna have a little bit left over. I'm gonna do um, 14 by 15 inches, which is gonna be my main body. I'm gonna do three by 13, which is gonna be my top. And then I'm gonna do one and a half by seven, which is going to be for the tabs of the um, backpack. So what I wanna do is, my prints really don't matter which direction they go except for this bicycle print. So I wanna bring it up front so I make sure that I'm measuring it just the right way, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on top so that I can see that I want my height of my bag going so that my little bicycles are going the right direction, okay? So I've got that that way. So what I'm gonna want is I'm gonna want my 15 going this way and my 14 um, going across, okay? So what I like to do, the very first thing I like to do is I like to make a clean cut, okay? And whenever I'm stacking fabric, I always like to make sure that I've got it all together, okay? Because so I wanna make sure, I'm trying to save some time and I don't wanna create a mess if I don't have these on just right, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I've got those all lined up nice, okay? And I am going to take my rotary blade and I'm just gonna clean up this cut just a little bit, okay? I've got a little bit of the name of the fabric showing there, so I wanna get rid of that, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure um, my 14 first, okay? So I'm gonna go across with my 14, okay? So I'm starting at 24, I'm gonna go all the way down to a 10, okay? And so that is going to be my 14. Okay, so 
So we'll set this off to the side just for a second. And now what I wanna do is I wanna turn this around and I wanna cut it at the 15, okay? Can't quite get my whole mat in camera view, you guys. So I'm just playing with this a little bit. So I've got five, 10, and 15 is gonna be right at my 20, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that, okay? So there's the main part of my bag I've got all cut. So I'm just gonna put that off to the side for a minute, okay? Now what I want is I need um, three by 13, okay? So let's check what I've got here. And guess what? It is three. And is it gonna measure up to 13? This is gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna use this fabric right here, okay? And I'm gonna make sure that it is at three clean up that edge just a little bit okay I'm gonna move this one off to the side I don't want to hit that with my rotary blade by accident okay so I've got that laid there and I am gonna do a three inch cut okay so this is gonna be the the three right and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this as the 13 okay so there is going to be, right at my 16 is gonna be my 13, okay? So make sure I get that nice and straight. Looks like my bicycles are coming off just a little bit. Move that up. Okay. And let's give that a nice cut. So I'm at my four, I'm gonna be at my 17. Okay, so those are my three by 13 strips. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is one strip that is going to be the, um, the tabs. And what I like to do is I'm gonna have the front of my um, backpack, one side be this and one side be this. So I'm gonna go ahead and make mine um, this guy. And that is exactly seven inches wide, which is awesome. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this at one and a half. And then what we'll do is we'll recap exactly what we've got cut for all of our pieces, okay? Okay, so let's take a look at what all I've got cut. I've got my one that is one and a half inches by seven inches. I've got four pieces right? Four pieces that are three inches by 13 inches, okay? And then I've got my main body of my backpack, and I've got four cut of it, okay? And those are 14 by 15, okay? So what I just need to decide is what is going to be the front of my bag um, and I'm, as you guys can tell, my bag is going to have a different pattern on the front and the different pattern on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this to be the outside part of my bag. Okay. And then I'm going to go with this print on the inside, although I absolutely love this print also. So I'm going to hop us over to the sewing machine and we are going to get going on this, um, line drawstring bag. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna start with is we're gonna get our tab all ready, okay? So I just like to give it a nice press, okay? And all we're gonna do is we are going to fold it in half, and I just like to kind of do it with my fingers, and then I'm gonna fold it in, fold it in, and then fold it in half again, okay? And then what I like to do is just do one side at a time, doesn't hurt for the iron to sit there for just a minute. And then I can pull that over, okay? There we go, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a good press, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop over the sewing machine and we're gonna do a thin seam right down there, okay? Okay, you guys, I just popped over to the sewing machine really quick and I just did a seam right down the middle of that, okay? And then all we need to do is, I am just gonna take my little snippers here and we are just going to cut that right in half, okay? 
Okay, so now we've got our two tabs, okay? So now what we're going to do is we are gonna place the tabs. So we are not going to deal with the inside of the bag yet. We are going to be working with the, um, the outside part of the bag, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my bag right sides together, okay? So I'm gonna put my right sides together. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good press, okay? Just so I get some of those seams out, the fold, the where it was, not seams, but you know, where the fold lines were. So I'm just giving that a nice, nice press, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is, I've made sure I've got my bicycles facing the right way, because I want them to, to look right on my bag. I am going to take my um, magic pen. I call it a magic pen because it erases when you get it wet, okay? And I am gonna measure one inch up, okay? So I'm just gonna make a mark at one inch, okay? And I'm gonna make a mark at one inch, okay? That's where we are going to add our clips, okay? So let's grab some of my wonder clips here, okay? And I want to add my tag. Now my tag, you guys, I like to lay it side by side like this, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right in at that one inch mark and I'm gonna put the end of it on, okay? And then I've got the other one. I'm gonna be right there with it, okay? And then I'm gonna add my wonder clip because I don't want that to come out, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to the other side. And you know what, you guys? I'm gonna move that mark just so it's a little bit easier to see. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fold it, okay? And remember, we want these facing in Okay, because when we sew everything and pull it out, we want them to be right in the right spot, okay? So just take your time, make sure those are together, put your wonder clip in place, okay? What we're gonna do now is we are going to take this over to the sewing machine and I am gonna give it a seam all the way down, all the way across, and all the way back up, okay? So let's pop over to the sewing machine. Okay, you guys, we're over at the sewing machine and I did add in a couple more wonder clips, okay? And I am gonna do right about a 3 8 inch seam, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start my machine and I'm just doing a straight stitch and then I'm going to do a little back stitch, okay? I wanna secure that stitch, okay? So we're just gonna go straight on down. Remove my clips as I go. Okay, now this is where my tab is and I wanna make sure I'm holding this one really well, okay? So I'm gonna go a little bit slower and I'm actually gonna do a back stitch on it, okay? Because I want to make sure that those tabs don't come out, okay? And I always like to sink my needle before I'm gonna pivot. So my needle is down, I'm gonna raise my foot and I bring my material right around, okay? And then we're just gonna continue on. Okay, I'm gonna sink my needle again. I'm gonna raise my foot and I'm gonna come back up, okay? Put my foot down. Now I'm gonna go real slow here again to make sure that my tabs don't move, okay? And then I'm gonna do a back stitch again just to secure those tabs, okay? And then I'm gonna finish sewing all the way up.
Okay, let's pop back over to the pressing board and we'll turn this right side out. Okay, so we've got our seams all the way done, okay? And what I like to do at this point in time is I do like to clip the corners, okay? And you wanna make sure, make sure that you're not cutting into that seam at all, okay? This just helps a little bit with um, the turning, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna turn our bag right side out, okay? Now you guys notice I didn't press my seams. You most definitely can if that's something that you want to do, but um, I, I, didn't, I did not press my seams, okay? So there is, how cute does that bag look already, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the top part of the bag, okay? So let's go ahead and set this one off to the side and remember those four pieces that we cut, okay? I'm gonna give them a quick um, press just to straighten them all out, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to use um, match them together. Now, when you're thinking about your bag, you can mix and match all you want, okay? But what I thought would be fun is to put the bicycles on this side where I cinch it up and the sunflowers on the other side. So what that means I want to do is I want to match these guys with one of the inside fabrics, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do, okay? So I'm gonna take right sides together and I'm gonna match those up, okay? So right sides together on both of them. I'm gonna give it one more little press. I always like to have my iron on and just handy whenever I'm sewing. Um, I'm using my pressing pad. I did have to remake this pressing pad because um, I lost the first pad I made in the fire, but I remade it. And I'll make sure I put a link down to this. I absolutely love this pressing pad. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna encase, make encasings of these, right? So I'm gonna take the sewing machine and we're gonna sew on three sides, okay? We're gonna leave one side open. So I'm gonna go up here, across, and down. I'm gonna go up here, across, and down, okay? So let's pop over the sewing machine and we'll get these sewn. Okay, now if you feel more comfortable putting some wonder clips on, you most definitely can um, in this case. I'm gonna do a quarter inch seam all the way around, okay? And I am gonna do a little bit of a back stitch and I'm gonna sink my needle just like I did before whenever I turn a corner, okay? I'm gonna make sure I'm lined up good here, okay? And then I'm just gonna do that quarter inch seam. Sink my needle again, raise my foot, and continue. Okay, and I'm gonna clip my threads here. I just love this on my machine. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the second one exactly the same way, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I've got them lined up nice. I'm going to... Sink that needle and make sure I'm all lined up nice and go for a seam. Okay, let's pop back over to the pressing pad now that we've got both of these all sewn. Okay, so we're gonna kind of go through those same steps again, give it a quick press. Um, I like to clip my corners again, so I'm just going to clip. And you guys, I picked up these cute little Singer um, um, clips and they are just the sweetest little thing to have. 
Um, so I am make sure I put a link to those down below, but I just think they are so cute. Okay, so we're gonna turn these guys right side out, okay? And I want to give it a good press again, making sure I get all those seams out. And this is going to be where we're gonna put our cording through, okay? I love this idea of doing it this way. There are all different ways that you can do, you know, the backpacks. Um, but I just really like doing um, it with this effect. It's such a nice, clean, clean um, way to do it. And so that's why I wanted to share this, um, this way with you. The other thing that would be fun, you guys, is if you wanted to put a pocket on the front of these. Um, there's all different things. If you want to decorate it with some HTV, you know, put some type of saying or something on it, that would be a lot of fun too. Um, but for now... We are just going with this beautiful sunflower print that I just absolutely love, okay? So now what we're going to do is move on to the next step. Okay, now for the next step, you guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bag, okay? And I wanted my bicycles to be on this side, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over Okay, and this might sound, seem a little funny at first, but just follow me along. I'm going to take the piece that we just sewed, right? And it's gonna be shorter than the bag, and that's perfectly fine, you guys. Don't worry about that, okay? And then I'm gonna clip this with my Wonder Clips, okay? I'm gonna flip the bag over, okay? And I want this to be on this one, and so I'm gonna do the same thing now. I'm only taking the one layer, okay? And so you wanna make sure that when you clip, you've still got your opening like this, okay? So we're gonna set this off to the side for a minute and we're gonna work on our lining um, before we do the next step, okay? Now the lining's gonna be really easy, you guys, because we don't have any tabs to do. So really, all I'm gonna do with the lining is, again, like I say, I always like to give my fabric a good, good press, right? All I'm gonna do is turn right sides together, okay? And making sure that I've got my, um, my going my right direction, so you can always double check, okay? This is my 14 and this is my 15, perfect. What I wanna do at this time though, you guys, is I wanna leave about a three inch opening down here at the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna mark it with my pen, okay? Make sure you guys can see this. I'm gonna mark it with my pen, just a three inch opening, okay? And the reason why I'm gonna do a three inch opening is because this is how we're gonna pull the bag right side out, okay? So just follow follow me along, you guys, and, and I'll show you what I mean by this. So, so you guys, I'm just gonna hop over the sewing machine really quick and do this seam. I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna go all the way down over to where I've got my three inch mark. I'm gonna stop, reinforce it, I'm gonna start, reinforce it, and go all the way up again, okay? So I will be right back just to save time you guys have seen me sew seams before, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop right over. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and I just wanna make sure you guys see what I did here, is that I did backstitch a couple times there, so I really reinforced um, where that opening is, okay? And the reason being is we've gotta pull the rest of the bag through there. So I'm gonna clip my ends, just like, excuse me, my corners like I did before, okay? Now, I'm leaving this bag um, right sides together, okay? What I'm gonna do is I am now going to slip my bag that we've already got done inside of here, okay? So this is where it gets just a little bit tricky, okay? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna match up my side seams, Okay, so I'm gonna match up my side seams. 
Now you guys could have pressed your side seams open, most definitely. I'm gonna put one to either side instead of pressing mine open, and I'm gonna clip that with a wonder clip, okay? Then I'm gonna to come to my other side, okay? And I am going to put my seams together again, okay? Put one, one, one way and one the other, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is those clips that we had here, I want to now take those off and I want to make sure that I've got the inside of the bag and we've got the piece that we just did, okay? Oops, Lisa messed up there, you guys. It's always good for me to make a mistake so I can show you guys what not to do. You want to make sure that that top part is sandwiched in between, okay? So I've got it sandwiched in between, and then what I'm doing is I'm bringing the lining over the top of it, okay? So really what you're going to end up with is you've got your lining, you've got that top edge that we just did, okay? And then you have got the outside part. And I'll show you a closer up view of it as soon as I get these clipped, okay? So what we've got here is, this is the outside of my bag. This is the piece that we did that I said we're gonna use for the um, drawstring to go through, okay? And then this is the inside, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the sewing machine and we are going to do a seam all the way around, okay? This is why we left the opening down here so that we can turn our bag right side out when we're ready to do it, okay? So again, I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine and we're gonna go all the way around, okay? So let's hop over to the sewing machine and I'll show you how I Whenever do Whenever I do this type of seam, I always like to start on the inside, right? I'm not going to try to sew from this part. I'm gonna start from the inside. It does not matter where we start because we're gonna go all the way around, okay? I always like to have my clip box right next to me, so as I'm sewing, I can remove my clips, okay? I'm gonna do a um, 3 8 inch seam all the way around, okay? I backstitch it, and then I'm just gonna go all the way around. Okay, and I just turn it as I go, okay? And see where this is where my little piece is, is um, sticking out just a little bit. I just wanna take some time and I wanna get that so it's in there nice and flat, okay? Remove my clips. Okay, and remember I said I was gonna do one seam one way and one the other. I'm just gonna keep going all the way around. And it can be a little confusing, you know, how we're doing this, but you'll see how the outcome comes. And the nice thing about this is it's all a finished look, right? Because we've got a lined bag. And I just love how that looks. Let me make sure I'm in there. And I'm going to do a back stitch again. And there we have it. Okay. We'll hop back over the pressing bag. Okay, now the fun time comes. Remember where we left that? opening down here, let's pull our bag through. And so we can see what we're gonna look like. And just take your time a little bit. There's a lot of fabric coming through that little, little hole there. And that's why we reinforce those edges for sure. And it'll come through, it just takes a little while. But once you have it, you have got this all just ready to go. Now, before we go any further, what we wanna do is let's get these corners. This is my lining, remember, and we still have that opening. 
So what I wanna do is I wanna get that opening closed off now, okay? So I'm just poking those holes. I'm gonna take my iron and it should pretty much already just fall into place for you because of how your seams are, but just give it a good press. And you guys, I am literally just gonna pop over to the sewing machine and give this just a quick seam. You could hand stitch it if you want, but no one's gonna see this. It's gonna be at the bottom of your bag. So I'll just hop right okay. So I just went ahead and did that cute little seam there. I'm gonna clip those few threads I've got. And we are now going to stuff this guy inside. It is taking shape, you guys. And I just like to work those into the corners. Okay, so look how pretty that looks on the inside. You literally could turn this inside out except for your straps wouldn't necessarily work. So, um, so I'm just gonna give this a quick little press, okay? Okay, now that we gave that a quick little press, one last step we need to do before we can um, put the drawstring in is we need to fall, um, fold over these edges, okay? Because we need to make that casing, okay? Now there's a couple different ways that um, you can do this and this is one step. Um, the other would have been when I sewed these on, I could have um, folded them at that point in time, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give this Literally those casings that we just sewed in, I am just folding them down, okay? And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those this over to the sewing machine and I'm gonna put a seam right, right down along there, okay? So I'm just gonna hop over to the sewing machine really quick and then we're gonna get ready to put our cord in and we're just about done with this project. Okay, so we've got those seams sewn in. I'm just gonna clip my threads here. I always like to clip while I go. And I wanna show you guys a cute little trick that I learned. When I'm clipping, I normally have a little bag that I can put my clips into, but another idea is to have a lint roller ha handy. And I just go across my pressing pad real quick and I picked up all of my little straight threads. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to um, put the cord in. Okay, now um, you can um, pre-measure your cord anywhere between 65 and 72 inches. You'll see um, a lot of people talk about that. But I just wanna show you how to measure your cord if you just want to, say you wanna do a different size bag, okay? So the key here is your cord needs to go through your top twice, right? So I'm gonna go through once, I'm gonna go through twice, right? Then I need to come down the side, okay? And I'm gonna do that twice, okay? And then I like to leave just a little bit extra because I know I need to tie my knots, okay? So I've got two pieces of cord cut. They are the exact same size, okay? And so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna put them into the bag. And you guys, that's the last step of this project. So I learned a little trick and I think it is just the, the um, funnest little thing to do. It's always fun to learn something new. So normally, you know, when you use a safety pin, you put it through here, um, you would put it right through there and pull it through and everything would be fine, right? Well, this is another little trick I learned. So keep your clothespin closed, right? And thread it through quite a ways. I'm gonna move this other cord out of the way for a minute. And then what we're gonna do is to make this a drawstring brag is I need to go thread it through here and then come back through the other side, okay? So since I've got my cord pulled, I am pulling double cord through. So um, it does get a little tight at first, but, um, Believe you me, I've done these before and it all pulls through just fine. Um, and I just love this um, pattern using the different color on the casing. I just think it um, makes it really fun. And so what I like to do then is pull my end through and then I'm just gonna go back through 
the other side, okay? So we're just gonna work it through, and then we're gonna take our other piece of cord, and we're gonna do it just the opposite. And I'll show you what I mean by saying just the opposite in one little second. Let's get this one all the way through, okay? I wanna make sure my cord is even, okay? So I'm gonna pull that extra piece through, okay? And then what I wanna do is I'm just going to make sure that my cord is even. So hopefully you can see this in camera view, but see how my cord is the same length, okay? So now my second cord that I've got to put through, okay? I'm gonna do it exactly the opposite way, okay? So I'm gonna start at this end, I'm gonna go through, and then I'm gonna come go all the way around and come out that end. And that's actually what makes it be a drawstring, okay? So now, I'm gonna trim this a little bit, you guys, so I can get angled at it. Now this is where it gets a little tight doing this method of pulling through, but it does work um, because now I've actually got three layers going through. So if you find that um, it's too tight to pull through, um, just do the old method of using the safety pin. I just find with this type of rope sometimes that um, what happens is it comes unraveled. And so then I lose my safety pin in there. And um, I definitely don't wanna do that. Okay, so I've got this one through. Now I'm gonna go through the other side. Flip the bag over. Okay, and this is a method you can use on all different types of bags that you wanna have that drawstring effect. Really important that you've got um, rope or string or ribbon, whatever you guys decide to use. You know, it would have been fun even to use my um, material and make straps instead of using the rope. So all kinds of different things you guys can try out. Okay, so we're gonna measure up. I'm gonna get rid of my safety pin. I'm gonna measure up this side and make sure it's even, which it is. Okay, so we've got our bag all ready to go. The last thing we're gonna do, you guys, is I'm gonna come down and let me turn it so you guys can see this. I'm going to bring it down. I'm gonna put one piece of the rope through my little tab at the bottom, right? And then I'm going to tie a knot. And there we have it, okay? So let's do that to the other side. Bring that down. I'm going to put them together and I'm going to tie a knot. Okay, so now I have got a bag that I can go like that and look, how cute did our bag turn out? One side and then let's just flip that over and look just how cute those bags are. I can totally see putting a pocket here or doing some type of saying here. Um, all different things you could do to continue to dress up this bag, but um, I really hope you enjoyed our Inspiration Friday project this week, making a fully lined, don't forget how beautiful that inside is, fully lined drawstring bag. Make sure you leave comments below. I love to hear from you, and I will make sure I give you a good close-up view of this. And here's our finished product, our drawstring backpack. Aren't those sunflowers just absolutely beautiful? And this view here is going to give you just a little glimpse of our lined. And then here's the back. Those bicycles I just think turned out so cute. So I really hope you enjoyed this Inspiration Friday project, making a fully lined drawstring bag. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like more DIY type projects, check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com.